Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time tuning in, thank you so very much for joining us. And if this is not your first time, thank you so much for coming back. So today we filmed this really quick and easy holiday makeup tutorial. This is perfect for anyone who's hosting the holiday party and doesn't have enough time to kind of, you know, look uber glam. This way you have nice glowy skin, you have got a nice bold lip, and you still look nice and snatched for the party. We skipped out on foundation in this tutorial and jumped straight right into the skin. Before we hop right into this video, don't forget to subscribe down below and to give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy it. It does help to spread the word so that others can enjoy the same footage you're enjoying too. All right, let's jump in. Okay, so this look right here is actually a really quick look. I'm gonna start off with just a bit of Milk of Magnesia on the center of my face. Because I will be wearing this a little longer. So this look is perfect for anybody who is on the go, who doesn't have too much time to get ready. Maybe you're the host of the holiday party this season and you know, you wanna make sure you still look nice and cute but at the same time, get ready really quickly. This look is perfect for you. What we're going to be doing today is skipping foundation as a step. And we're gonna be hopping straight into our concealers. Concealers are a really great way in order to get good coverage, but at the same time to kind of speed up the process. So what you wanna do with this kind of look is spot conceal. So treat all the dark spots with a concealer that is your skin tone, or maybe you may wanna go in with a color corrector first if your spots are a little darker, and then go over with the concealer that is your skin tone. The concealer I'm gonna be going in with today is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Dark Cocoa. I'm going to be using this to conceal any of my dark spots, any hyperpigmented areas, and any areas that I do want to conceal and make look like my skin tone. So I'm gonna be going in with a little bit underneath my eyes here. This shade is slightly warmer than my skin, but it's not too bad, especially because of the next step that we are going to go in with which is our regular concealer to kind of brighten up spots, brighten up um, the high points of our face, like underneath our, our eyes or any other place that we would like, like to be attracted to. So I'm going in, I'm just applying this. You can see I have some spots here that I might wanna cover up. You can go in with your fingers, okay, to just kind of pat those areas in. Now that I feel like I have a clearer canvas, I'm gonna go in with a shade that's slightly lighter. This is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Toast. I like this product for this um, technique. Okay, I'm gonna be putting this underneath my eyes, dragging this down the sides of my nose. this technique is because you are going to be in a bit of a rush you want to make sure that whenever you're putting the product down you're getting as much coverage as you possibly can so because of that I'm not going to be going in with a beauty blender today I'm actually going to be going in with a brush a brush doesn't soak up or eat up as much of the product as a beauty blender will and it spreads it out nicely so we're going back the traditional route and we're going to be adding using a brush to kind of pat out the concealer. The brush I'm using is the Real Techniques um, Expert Face Brush. It's got a really nice shape, so it's easy to kind of get in there and spread and move the product around. This way I'm adding brightness to my skin. I'm making sure that any dark spots are nicely concealed but it also looks lightweight and really airy on the skin because I don't have a lot of product. To add a bit of warmth back onto the skin, I am going to be going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit in Deep and I'm gonna be going in with the darkest shade which is Rich Earth on the same brush Okay, because we don't have time, so in the same brush, just going in, I'm going to take this and chisel out my cheek just a little bit, applying the product and pushing upward. 
I'm going around my forehead as well with this same product. Making sure that I'm blending along my hairline so it's not an awkward uh, difference between my skin tone, um, my scalp color, and my actual skin. So I'm going to be going in with the Lauda Mercier um, Translucent Setting Powder. This is in medium deep. And just nicely just patting this. We're going to be going in with a brush and slightly bronzing and warming up the outer parts of my face. I'm not going to do too much damage here. Okay, so I'm going to be quickly going in and filling in my brows. If you're short on time and on the go, it's important that at least you choose a few certain features to emphasize. So one of my features that I need to necessarily make sure that I do is my eyebrows. For some people, it might just be their lashes or something, but for me, eyebrows, you know, eyebrows and skin are really big. So I'm going to just brush this through. This brow gel is really inexpensive, but it's really good. It comes in a variety of shades, but I like rich chocolate brown for a bit of warmth. In today, one of my favorite blushes just on my cheeks. I'm going to be using the KKW Beauty highlighters really quickly just to add a nice glow to the skin, a little bit on my lids as well. Basically, gonna sweep this everywhere. <laughs> That's basically what it is. And then on my forehead, a bit in this area. Next, we're gonna jump straight into mascara. There's no wasting time here. So, I'm gonna take my mascara wand, wiggle it on my lashes. To create a nice smoky effect, I'm just gonna wiggle and let this touch my skin a little bit. This way I have a little bit of a smoky effect going on on my bottom lash line. You can just go to the lip, which is what I'm going to do. The Fenty Beauty Uncens Uncensored um, Stunna Lip Paint. It's a nice mid-tone red, so hopefully I like it. This is what it looks like without a lip liner. It's a really pretty red, however, I do feel I do need a lip liner, so I'm going to be going in with Max um, Vino to go around and line the edges. Now I feel like this is more wearable for me. So, this is the finished look. You don't have to worry about lashes when it does come to getting ready really quickly for a party like that you may want to choose between a bold lip or you know going in and doing putting on some lashes so this is the final look i hope you guys enjoy it. thank you so very much for joining me and watching this video and i hope to see you in another video until then stay blessed and stay golden